Hello again, uh, late night edition. I wanted to do this one earlier in the day, and well, things got away from me. So this is a, at the end of the day. And let's just talk about faith in general and my approach to faith. Just finished this, uh, our first uh, session of RCIA. And generally, as both a Catholic and a priest, I'm not interested in going out and trying to convince people that their faith is wrong or somehow inadequate. Uh, my approach more is, hey, I love Catholicism. There is a lot to share in Catholicism. If you're interested in exploring it, I will be happy uh, to show you the way. But for the most part, I'm not interested in saying, hey, you know, you're living your faith wrong. And you could be. There's a lot of people who do. But I generally don't see that as my approach to evangelization. Uh, my approach to evangelization really is living my faith, witnessing to, to it uh, when I can. But first and foremost, just being a friend to people that I meet, treating people with respect, coming to know their story, see what they find in terms of meaning in their life, and then see where we go from there. Because um, again, as I said, I'm generally not interested in poaching other Christians. You know, if you're another Christian and you love Jesus Christ, you believe in the Holy Trinity, we're, you know, believe it or not, 90% on the same page. We may look at scripture differently and we may look at the re relationship of the church very differently and that makes a big difference that little 10 percent that's left is an essential difference uh, between uh, perhaps catholicism and non-catholics with the exception of orthodox uh they have a similar view of the church but i'm not interested in poaching i'm not interested in you wrong i'm always interested in people who have questions about catholicism or misunderstandings to clarify those because i love my faith i understand it fairly thoroughly not completely everybody's you know on different uh, stages of understanding and learning and the like so depending on where you are you know it's your depth into catholicism the goal of course is to dive deep and that's both in sanctity in terms of personal holiness and also uh, personal articulation that i really understand the faith here's how the faith helps me live life Here's how the faith prepares me for eternal life. Because Catholicism comfortably says we have an answer for most things. You know, there's still mystery. You know, we, the God we worship cannot be confined by our means of talking about, about God. Cannot be contained by our, our dogmas and our doctrines. Those are windows to appreciating the mystery of who God is. Um, but if people are interested, like we had a number of people uh, down at the big church tonight, I am more than happy to say, hey, let's meet you where you are and see where your walk of faith will lead you. That is what really uh, matters to me as a priest. Pray for people. I've had people in my life I've prayed for a lot that would come to faith, uh, would come to believe in Jesus Christ. I hope they become Catholic. That would be my, my greatest satisfaction. But even if they don't become Catholic, I'm still uh, very happy uh, that they're seeking the Lord um, and, and that they want to know Jesus Christ because he is without a doubt the most important person in my life. I am who I am and I am what I am because of Jesus Christ, because of, of coming to know him and love him and follow him. And I am by no means perfect. Uh, my parishioners hear me say this all the time. No pedestals for the living. I am a sinner in need of a redeemer today, tomorrow, until I get to Judgment Day. And then Judgment Day, we get to find out, gosh, Jesus really is my Redeemer, or <laughs> he's my judge, and a game over. And that's not what God wants for any of us. God wants to save us all, but he can only save us by his truth, which is himself, that he is the truth. And he wants to save us by that, convert us, bring us about to the fullness of truth as much as possible in this life, in preparation for the next. But with that in mind, I'm really just interested when I meet people, what's their story, what's their walk of faith, what are the things that excite them, what are the things that bore them, what are the things they are interested in, what are the things that they are not interested in, what are the meaningful events in their life that they see as significant, these were life-changing events, these were life-altering circumstances. Those, those are the type of things that just uh, allow us to get to know one another and form a, a, a beginning communion of association, of potential friendship, and, and who knows, maybe potential uh, faith 
uh, in God. So that's really um, kind of where I'm at tonight. And there are the crickets. I knew they were approaching because there's a timer on the bottom of this. And goodbye.